Traditional ligatures are mechanically weak. You need a lot of tension to tighten them, and then they lose a lot of that tension when the pull is released. Constrictor knots tighten more easily and do not release the tension held in the first throw. The best synthetic suture material to use with this knot is polydioxanone or PDS. Try tying this constrictor knot with PDS around a piece of carving rope. Once tightened you'll find it difficult to undo. So this knot pattern tightens easily but does not release that tension on the first throw. These qualities make it ideal as a ligature. I'm going to lock the free ends of the suture with a pair of mosquito forceps and then I'm going to release some of the tension in the loops before I slide it into position over the pre-crushed area. Slide it into position. Feel it lock and apply a few locking throws. Going to loosely pre tie this loop of PDS with a constrictor knot ligature around this most proximal pair of forceps. Once formed, we'll lock the free ends with the mosquito forceps. Need a bit more space underneath these loops, so I'm going to use some debakey forceps just to free it up a little bit. I then cut the uterus between the two pairs of forceps. Even if this most proximal set of forceps were to come off, there's little hemorrhage, no tension on the pedicle, so the forceps can easily be reapplied and then the varying pedicle is down here. So I'll slide the knot over the ovary, park it over the pedicle for a short while, whilst we apply a pair of Alice tissue forceps. Use these because it avoids any traction on that back edge of that pedicle. It applies more axial traction. Once placed, and then pass the forceps to an ungloved assistant who just uses their little finger to apply a little bit of tension to the forceps. Then palpate the ovary, apply another pair of forceps just proximal to it while we're cutting along the top of this pair of forceps shortly. Adjust the tension on the Alice tissue forceps and then slowly slide down the constrictor ligature. Little tension requires, you can feel it lock very quickly and then some locking throws over the top. And that's it.